Okay, so we've talked a lot about this uh, smart house. We've spent a lot of time in it and we've done a good job solving our use case. It's time we take a step out. So we know how to solve this particular use case now, but how do we apply the same knowledge that we learned in this course to solving other use cases? So let's take an example of a few. In the beginning of the course, we saw this uh, smart wind farm. It had the ability to predict the energy production of the past, present, and future. So what does the use case for this look like? Let's take a look. Create a digital twin of a wind farm, visualize it within an iTwin app, add data connections to an IoT system. In this case, we used uh, ADT, which is Azure Digital Twins, a historic TSI endpoint, TSI's time series insights, and a machine learning algorithm to display the past, present, and future energy production of the wind farm. Let's take a look at another one. We saw this uh, connected highway that could keep track of the health of the tunnels, bridges, and roads throughout uh, that uh, highway. So the use case for this is uh, create a digital twin of a roadway, visualize it within an iTwin app, and then we add a data connection to an IoT system, ADT again, and display metrics of the roadway segments, the tunnels, roads, and bridges, and present crisis alerts to ensure the safety of travelers. All right, we'll do one more. The smart office that we saw that allowed us to assign colleagues to different workstations. The use case for that is uh, create a digital twin of an office building, visualize it within an iTwin app, add a data connection to an HR database, and add interface to assign workstations to colleagues and reflect the changes in the HR database. Now to understand how we can apply what we learned in this course to these use cases, let's uh, throw them all in the same place and then break them down like we did for our smart house. Now you might have already noticed that there's a lot of similarities here. So let's uh, talk about those. So the first step when solving any of these use cases is to push our design files into the iModel hub and create a digital twin of the model. So we create a digital twin of the house model, the wind farm, office building, and the roadway. And the way we can do that is by synchronization, which is what we discussed in uh, chapter one. Next up, once our model is on the cloud, we can visualize it by pulling it locally within an iTwin viewer and then making any custom visualization changes if needed to fit our model visualization for our use case. And that's what we discussed in chapters three and four. And at this point, we are in a really good place to start building value for our digital twin and grow it by adding data connections. In the case of our smart house, we added a smart device database. In the case of the wind farm, there's ADT, TSI, and the machine learning algorithm. And then in the case of the office is the HR database. The point is, this is where you start embellishing your digital twin with additional data and building its value. And uh, finally, once we've uh, tapped into this uh, additional data stream, we can combine its information to start displaying all the, the cool stuff. For example, the markers in the case of our smart house. In the case of the wind farm, we added some decorators, a clock widget that showed us the overall power of the wind farm. In the case of the office, we added an entire interface to drag and drop people and put them on workstations. And then also write back into the HR database to update that information. There's tons of possibilities here. We barely scratched the surface in chapter uh, six and seven, but I'll post a link to our documentation and some of the samples that we have. So you have an opportunity to apply your creativity and design your own unique way to fulfill your use case. So to summarize, we have four main steps we're looking for. Synchronize your design files to create your digital twin, pull it within an iTwin app to start visualizing it, then add data connections to build value for your twin, and finally, use the resulting data to design interactive features to bring your use case home. Now let's uh, color code these babies up and let's head back to our use cases and start viewing them in a different way. And you'll notice that we applied the same core principles to solve all these amazing digital twin use cases. And this is exactly what you'll be looking for when you have an opportunity to solve your own. And of course, you won't always get use cases in this format. Uh, typically, you're going to get a list of feature requests, but the idea is to boil them down into these core principles. And uh, anytime you need support with any of these steps, you can always come back to this course and keep reinforcing this uh, foundation that we've laid out for you. <laughs> At this point, I feel pretty happy about uh, letting you all step outside the smart house and start facing and solving digital twin problems that challenge the infrastructure industry today. Thank you all for sticking with us till the end of this course, and we wish you the best on your project. Oh, and uh, all the best on the exam at the end of this, which you have to pass to get the certification. But well, you got to do what you got to do.